Hello everyone, I'm Bad Pan. I'm about to love dancing at 3 a.m. Now in this video, we're covering how to sit in the passenger seat or the back seat of a car, just like in Freeze to Fathom, and how to interact with the driver. This idea was suggested by our two amazing friends, Titan X Official and WebDev Underline Zero. Hope all the very best for you, wherever you guys are. This video will be added in two playlists: one, Unity Tips and Tricks; the other, another playlist in which we cover the functions from the game Freeze to Fathom in Unity. The car and the driver models are actually from my own game, Fractured Psyche. Feel free to check it out if you want. There's a link in the description. All the files used or created in this video like the scripts are on my github there's a link down below with all that being said let's put on the mask and begin so right now i have a complete setup of it i will actually create it don't worry i'm actually just showing you what we'll create the model and the player you want is actually the same in every scenario you actually have a player a character you're talking to or a taxi driver or anything and you have a car obviously there is a character and the character i'm using is from the unity standard assets fps controller we don't have the fps controller i'm going to remove it completely i'm going to delete it so now we don't have anything inside the car there's only the character inside it we need to put the character inside like sit here or like sit here you need the unity standard assets for this if you don't have it no worries you can get to the link in the description i'll put a link in the description you guys can actually download it directly through my uh, google drive let's go ahead to the standard assets go to the characters first person character controllers go to the prefabs and just add the fps controller this one so by default it has a rigid body and it's gonna move down you know when the thing starts the scene starts so i'm just gonna remove this rigid body we don't need the rigid body uh, right click on this fps controller unpack the prefab completely so it's not a prefab i just deleted the rigid body you can deactivate this character controller for this section of the video because we don't want it to move and you just place it wherever you want i'm gonna you know increase the vibe value to this extent like here is okay you just can actually do it in two ways so you see it like here and you change it like here go to your face controller open it or go to your camera settings change this to zero one so now when you start it yeah we are here we can look around in the car and we can look at alex or anywhere we want so now we're in the car i'm gonna create a very simple a very short script to move the car forward you guys don't have to do this i'm just gonna you know move the car so it actually feels more realistic you can download the scripts from the link in the description they're actually available on my github you can get to the link in the description i'm gonna create a new c sharp script i'm gonna call it first to fathom car passenger car movement double click to open it up as i say again you guys don't have to do this part but i'm gonna you know do it you guys don't have to do this part i don't need the void start so i'm just gonna remove it let's avoid update i want to just move the car so i'm just gonna say transform which is gonna get the transform of this object which the script is on so i'm just gonna give the script to my car so it's gonna move the car so i'm just gonna say transform dot translate minus vector three dot forward or vector three dot forward because we're gonna go forward and we're gonna get times the speed i want to i want it to move like like five or maybe five and times time dot delta time because i want to move it according to the time and not according to the fps i say again you guys don't have to do this but i'm just going to give this to my car object you have to be careful to make your fps controller a child of your car so it needs to be inside your car first i'm pack this prefab completely now if this controller is in the car and when i play the game we're actually moving inside the car and you know it is actually driving that's how to set it up but if you want to interact with the driver or interact with anyone or interact with anything in your game you're gonna need a, an interaction system so i'm just gonna create a new c sharp script i'm just gonna say fierce to fathom car passenger cam interact again double click to open it up what we want to do is we want to create a function for it in which we can look at the driver and we can talk with the driver to do that is very actually easy i'm just going to create a simple dialog system as well so to actually create a dialog system we need a text file so i'm just going to say using unity engine.ui because i want to use the simple legacy text ui in here first i need a reference to text which is subtext the text i'm going to write on and a private string called holder which actually holds the sentence if you want to better understand the dialog system i'm creating you can click on top of your screen right now we'll get to the link in the description i explain everything in there then i need a private float text type time which is equal to 0.025 f seconds you'll understand in the following minutes why i'm giving these values we don't need anything in the void start i guess so i'm just going to go into the void update for every interaction video i said we created a private boolean called can do can interact by default we can interact we should actually check if we can interact or not so we're just gonna say if can interact is equal to true we go ahead and interact 
So for the interaction system, so for the interaction system, like our previous videos, like the videos we created multiple times before, we just gonna shoot a ray. I'm gonna call it ray one. Ray is actually an invisible thing, which will be shot in a direction we're looking at. I want it to be shot in the direction we're looking at. If that invisible ray hits something with a collider, for example, with a compare tag of friend, I'm gonna give this a tag of friend. It's gonna put that value inside the inside something called ray cast hit, and that ray cast hit will actually hold to, onto some properties that we can actually access and you know check if you can actually talk with our friend or not. You'll actually see in the upcoming minutes. So I'm just gonna say ray. I'm gonna call it ray, which is equal to camera that main dot viewport point to ray new vector three zero point five f zero point five f and zero and this ray is actually gonna hit something called ray cast hit and i'm gonna call it hit and we're just gonna say if physics dot ray cast we're gonna give it the hit and the ray before checking the hit thing we're gonna go ahead and give our friend a tag of friend so i'm just gonna select my friend first thing first we have to give him a collider because we want to interact with him so i'm just gonna select my friend add component box collider be careful box collider is right down here so i'm just gonna you know change his values until it is like in a place i want in here maybe to change his size i'm gonna click on this i'm gonna take one place of it i'm gonna you know give it like this yeah that is fine for the friend so we can interact with him but our friend selected with the object with the box collider we're gonna go to this tag section add tag i'm gonna add, click on this plus and i'm gonna add a tag of friend i'm gonna save it be careful it's not given yet so you're again gonna select your friend go to this tag section and give it a tag of friend and in our script when we hit something we just want to say if hit the thing we hit with array dot collider go to this collider then go to this tag if it actually has a tag of friend we can go ahead and interact with our friend, for example. We created the interact a simple interaction system for it. Before completing the interaction system, let me just create the dialogue, a simple dialogue system, or we can actually just copy from our other, you know, videos. So this is a very simple dialogue system that I used in my previous videos that I just copied and pasted here. It has an interaction text. It says interact and a subtext which actually writes on this for a function i'm just gonna appear in here no worries this is a very simple dialogue system it only has a canvas you can give the canvas settings like me you just give it a panel which is deactivated by default and a subtext and an interaction text so for the function for the dialogue you need a public game object talk panel so when we talk we activate the talk panel and a public text for our interaction text so when we are looking at Alex, it's gonna say, uh, this red thing in the middle is gonna say, talk to Alex. Right here, when we say, if our ray actually hits friend, which is Alex in this case, I'm gonna name him Alex. We're just gonna say, our interaction text, the text should say, talk to Alex, for example. If it is saying, talk to Alex, and we press the left mouse key, for example, or press E in this case, I wanna change some stuff. So if input that get key down, key code dot E. For example, if you're looking at our friend and we press E, we go ahead and we create a function. So for the other section of the interaction system, if you don't want our interaction text to have any bugs, if we look at anything other than our friend, we don't want our interaction text to say anything, so we empty it. If the ray actually doesn't hit anything, in this case, we don't want to actually say anything in the interaction text as well because for example if we look at the sky we don't want our interaction text to like you know say anything now for the function when we look at our friend first thing first let's check if it actually works if we look at alex is it gonna say you know for example talk with alex so i'm gonna go to my car go to my fps controller go to his camera the, i'm gonna lock this so when i click anywhere else it doesn't change go to scripts this is our script the script that i just created i'm just gonna drag and drop it onto my camera it needs a subtext this is the subtext i drag and drop it it needs a panel talk panel and an interaction text i'm gonna unlock it i'm gonna select my panel i'm gonna deactivate this panel by default and i'm gonna you know delete the values for each text now we can go ahead and check it out as you see we're in the car and we look at alex it says talk to alex we look anywhere else it's not gonna say anything and we can do it when we you know behind there or anywhere it doesn't matter and now to create a function for it for a very simple dialogue system for it i'm gonna do it inside an i enumerator i'm gonna close void update i'm gonna go down a void update i don't need void start in here so i'm just gonna you know remove void start down here i just want to say i enumerator i'm gonna call it talk to alex co which stands for coroutine 
you can name it anything you want i just named it this don't worry about the error it's gonna be fixed in the upcoming minutes when i press e i want to run this function and why am i doing it inside an i enumerator because i want to you know for example say alex says this i want to wait for two seconds then i want to say something and then i want to one second then alex is going to say another thing so i'm just going to create a very simple dialog system and i want to wait for some time in between and because of that i'm actually doing it inside an i enumerator or a core routine so we're just going to say start core routine that's how you call it talk to alex co inside it first thing first we're just going to say can interact is equal to false because we don't want to interact with alex again we want our interaction text to be empty to prevent the bug then we just activate our talk panel so we can just you know say the dialogue then for the dialogue system we're just going to say for example we are going to say so subtext.text with this one is going to be put there before writing the dialogue letter by letter then i'm just going to say holder this is the place for the sentence for example we're going to say are you okay alex and then we're going to type it letter by letter so we're just going to say for each character I'm gonna call the characters, for example, C inside our holder. Holder is the sentence. So for each one of these characters, we're gonna go inside here and we're gonna do some stuff. So we're just gonna say subtext the text plus equals C. So it's gonna take this character and it's gonna plus it and add it here. Then it's gonna go down and it's gonna run again and it's gonna add this R and then it's gonna add it here. I want to wait for some time in between, you know, writing each letter. So we're just gonna say yield return new wait for seconds i want to wait for text type time 0.025 f seconds that we created up here and then it's going to write our dialogue system completely then i'm going to wait for yield return new wait for seconds i want to wait for for example 1.5 seconds then i want alex to answer so we can just copy it and paste it here instead of me we're just going to say alex and alex is going to say i don't want to make it you know a lot so i just want to yield return new wait for like 1.5 f seconds then i'm going to reset everything so to reset everything we're just going to say can interact true so we can actually interact with stuff again and our talk panel to be deactivated because we are no longer talking and yeah that's it that's for the function so when i look at alex and i press e the function is going to happen one thing to for the reset is actually we just have to empty our subtext our dialogue system and that is it we can go ahead and check it out now the car is actually moving we look at Alex and we press E. He says, are you okay, Alex? He says, yeah, I'm fine. And the dialogue finishes. And we can just interact with him again. He says, are you okay, Alex? He says, yeah, I'm fine. I'm going to put our character in the back seat. So I'm just going to select our FPS controller. I'm going to move him a little bit back. Like here would be fine. And I'm going to, you know, run it again. It is moving. We look at Alex. He says, talk to Alex. If we talk with him, he says, are you okay, Alex? He says, yeah, I'm fine. The car is moving. You just add some animations and some things to tweak for yourself. This is a bug. Don't look at it. Uh, so that is how to, you know, create the taxi system, the passenger seat system, like first of all, I mean, Unity. You can interact with anything you want in your car. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for suggesting this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, a like would be very amazing. You can subscribe to see more content like this. You can tell me anything in the comment section below. You can tell me any suggestions, any scenarios you want. I would be very happy to answer it. And if I can, I would cover it. Thank you so much again for your support. Thank you for 200 subscribers we are like 200 friends now hope all the very best for you thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video